President Clinton is condemning Monday's deadly explosion in Argentina as a, quote, cowardly attack. The 1994 bombing, which killed 85 people, has created a truth commission with Argentina to investigate the attack. Argentina appointed special prosecutors, including Alberto Nisman, to determine who had ordered and arranged this massacre. Placing responsibility for the incident on the highest authorities in Iran. Federal attorney Alberto Nisman has been found dead in his home. Now it comes as Nisman was investigating the 1994 bombing of the Jewish AMIA Center. On the 18th of July, 1994, in Buenos Aires, Argentina, a Renault traffic van loaded with explosives drove inside a Jewish community center, the Argentine Israelite Mutual Association, and detonated. The suicide bombing would become Argentina's deadliest terror attack in history and would take the lives of 85 innocent people and injure over 300 more. To this day, the perpetrators of the AMIA bombing have not been brought to justice, and the investigation has been plagued by political interference and corruption. The investigation initially focused on local individuals and groups, but it soon became clear the attack was likely planned and executed by a foreign organization or government. The investigation led to accusations of Iranian and Hezbollah involvement in the attack, which were later supported by evidence from the FBI and other international agencies. Alberto Nisman, an Argentinian lawyer, was appointed as the lead prosecutor in the AMIA case in 2004. He spent over a decade investigating the case, and by 2014, Nisman had accused several high-level officials in Iran of being involved in the attack, including former President Ali Rafsanjani and Foreign Minister Ali Akbar Velayati. He also accused members of the Argentine government of covering up the involvement of Iranian officials in exchange for improved trade relations. Nisman specifically accused President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner and Foreign Minister Hector Timmerman of agreeing to drop Interpol arrest warrants against Iranian officials in exchange for Iranian oil. In the month leading up to his death, Nisman's accusations of President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner and Foreign Minister Hector Timmerman were spreading via news outlets like wildfire. On January 12, 2015, Nisman filed a 300-page complaint against Kirshner and Timmerman, alleging that they had conspired to cover up Iran's involvement in the AMIA bombing. On the 18th of January, 2015, Nisman was scheduled to testify against Kirshner and Timmerman in front of a congressional committee. Hours before his testimony, he was found dead at his home in Buenos Aires. Initially, the cause of Nisman's death was unclear. However, a 22 Bursa Thunder handgun was found near his body and was later determined that he had died from a gunshot wound to the head. Reports state that Nisman possessed two firearms, neither of which was a Bursa 22. The official ruling was that Nisman had committed suicide, but many people in Argentina and worldwide were skeptical of this conclusion. The handgun found at the scene of Nisman's death was later revealed by police to be owned by Nisman's assistant, Diego Lago Marcino. A 2017 report determined that the cause of death was murder, a conclusion that federal courts accepted in 2018. Some believe that Nisman had been murdered in order to prevent him from testifying about the alleged cover-up, while others believe that he had been driven to suicide by the stress of his investigation. The death of Nisman sparked a wave of protests in Argentina, with many people calling for a full investigation into his death and the allegations he had made against the government. The case has been mired in controversy, with accusations of political interference and cover-ups. In August of 2017, a federal judge ruled that Nisman's death was a murder and ordered the arrest of former intelligence agent Diego Lago Marcino, who had lent Nisman the gun that was used to kill him. However, many questions remain unanswered, and the case continues to be a source of controversy and speculation in Argentina. It's important to note that President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner never received any charges for her actions in relation to the death of Nisman or the AMIA bombing. As we close the chapter on this unsolved mystery, let us remember that the killers like Lago Marcino still linger among us. Keep your eyes open, your mind curious, and your sense of wonder alive. Who knows what other mysteries are waiting to be discovered. Until next time, stay curious and keep searching for the truth.